Hello, and welcome to our live art session. Just pulling things together here. Glad you could join us. It's just an opportunity to get together and draw together. You're welcome to grab a piece of paper and a pen or pencil, markers, crayons, anything that you might have, and just lean into what Divine wants to bring forward. What do you have in your heart space that you would like to share? Um, and just kind of observe your paper. I just had a wonderful session with Rhea. Uh, it was the MCG group, uh, Menorca Consciousness Group on Facebook. And wow, <laughs> what a neat resource. Um, it was just very heartfelt and a wonderful opportunity to draw into dragon energy. So I'm definitely feeling some energy from that um, and leaning into images that are in my heart space and images that might come through onto the paper and just drawing into this, leaning into it, seeing what plays out on the paper you can add music to the background if you'd like, and you can draw something entirely different. I'm uh, just drawed. I'm just drawing into the energy that I felt at this session, and I definitely had a very close experience uh, visually with a dragon. So I do feel that this is what's going to come through. And I will check back to see if everything's showing up okay on the camera. So I'm just going to lightly start drawing in some of the elements that I'm feeling. I was going to use my pen, but I think I'm going to start with a colored pencil. And just observing the paper. If I don't draw very dark, it won't show up on the camera, but I will jump in and begin to darken the color, the connection a little more as I feel I've gotten the image more aligned where it feels to be coming through. So I start lightly and just feel into it. And you can kind of get a feel for what's coming through. It feels rather close up. I feel that these eyes are just at a little bit more of an angle. So that's kind of how it feels coming in. I've talked different times about being in meditation and having an animal. Uh, come into contact with me and I go forehead to forehead. We have this almost a bonding energy that comes together. It's really fascinating. 
And today during that session, that is exactly what happened. It was interesting because I had observed this dragon coming toward me. I'm going to turn that just for a second and see if I'm getting it lined up as well as I would like. So I had this dragon energy coming toward me and I could see the face, the shape of the face, but it was covered by a dark blue veil and I could feel the energy and I could see it coming toward me. And as I leaned closer, it came closer to me and we just blended energy right at that point of contact when my forehead touched its forehead. And I tell you, there was just a heartwarming blend of colors. Uh, this was a white dragon that came through. And it had just a beautiful iridescence. Some colors just danced across this beautiful dragon. And I'm just going to pull some of the soft colors that I noticed or recall being a part of this and to see how it comes across on the paper as I'm feeling into that energy. So there were a variety of just soft, subtle hints of color. And it was just blended in. You get a sense that it just kind of hops and skips. So just leaning into my heart and where the colors just kind of jump in and just kind of play a bit. So this white dragon had a beautiful iridescence to it. And I'm just catching these colors as they're playing across the paper. And just leaning into how it wants to transform the surface of the paper. I may go back in and pull some of that color back up a little. Because I want as much of the white to show through because the actual color of the dragon was white. But I had these beautiful colors playing off of the surface of the dragon. So it was more the movement of the dragon in the light that brought about the changes in colors. So you can draw however you like and whatever you feel coming through for you. And I'm just going to enjoy this process of re-encountering this dragon. Now this was a session that was offered by the Menorca Consciousness Group and Rhea, one of our admin on Intuitive Us, brought a meditation forward for folks. And it was really beautiful. I think she was warmly received in the group. And the energies just were well received by the participants. Really, really beautiful. If you get an opportunity to go to one of Rhea's sessions, um, and she will work individually with people also. Um, you should do it. It's a wonderful opportunity. And there is a movement right now bringing this 
dragon energy around us and helping us ascend and being a part of everything on a grander scale of our transformation. So it might be something you would like to look into. Rhea brings a delightful energy. And everybody's connection is unique for themselves. So just be prepared for what comes through for you. I'm feeling into the energies. The program or the meditation with Rhea just finished minutes before I came in. And I wanted to hold in that space and see if the energy would follow me. And it has. It feels very present. Um, really connecting nice here. Feels very heartwarming like it did in the meditation. I'm going to grab some white and soften a little bit of that purple. I don't want it to be overwhelming. And I just want to give that appearance of an iridescence that this beautiful dragon, this white dragon, gave that shifting color. As it moved in the light, the colors went from cool purples and blues to a beautiful green. We got hints of pink coming through. And it just was radiant. So right now I'm just pulling a little bit of white back across this dragon. And it was very close up. Um, some time ago I had a close encounter with a pel uh, pelican. Yeah, pelican. And it was really inviting. And I walked through the ocean water right next to the shore up to this pelican and went face to face with this um, bird. And it was just stunning. It was so heartwarming to be that close and to bring my forehead right up to the forehead of the pelican. And we shared space and we shared compassion and affection uh, for one another. And it was just really beautiful. And I didn't know what to expect with this meditation. But it was very similar in that as the dragon approached, we went directly to contact with our forehead. I feel like that's an exchange or a blending of consciousness and really find it heartwarming. So I'm going to pause and see if I can have any comments on Facebook, or Facebook on YouTube and try and connect with folks a little bit. So go ahead and continue to draw and feel into what's coming through for you. And again, I appreciate you being here. We'll be pulling in a few more colors here and going right to the eyes. I think the eyes will be a fascinating connection. Well, hmm. it's not showing up, but I'm hoping it's showing up for everyone out there. And I'll just go ahead and work on this. Um, looking at the eyes, I do feel an emerald green coming through with the eyes. And I'm going to go a little bit lighter 
toward the center. It just feels like it kind of transitions in color. So I'm going to go I'll lift my chalk a little bit as I go toward the center. And just kind of let the chalk dance toward the center of the eye. And it feels like a yellow green that it transitions to. I'm going to go with a little bit softer green. And then I'll pull in a little bit of yellow and maybe even white as we get to the center of the eye. Just bringing in the colors as they come into my heart space to be added. Anybody visiting now, I appreciate your visit and I will check comments after a bit and try and respond. Just feeling into this again. I've got the darker energy coming in toward the center of the eye. A little bit of a sl uh, I don't know how to say it. Slit type of pupil. And I hope that doesn't come across evil because I had a very good connection, very positive connection. It was a beautiful energy. And I've got my white out still. I'm going to grab yellow and just bring a little bit of yellow into this. And as I bring the yellow in... I'm going to try and keep a little bit of the white paper showing through just a bit. Give that sense of the light hitting the surface of the eye. Very cool. I like what's taking place here. And just letting it evolve. No stressing. There's no right or wrong. It's just giving opportunity to creative space and letting things flow. I'm going to take my white and go back into the eyes just a little bit. And this is just to kind of allow for a little more blending. And I'm feeling that next color to be a little bit of a soft gray that will allow me to give a little bit of depth to the eyes. So if anybody's visiting, feel free to pop in the comments. From this angle, it's hard to see on my laptop what the comments might be and how many people might be viewing. So you're just welcome here. Um, we do our live art once a month, and it's the first Tuesday of the month from 4 to 5 Eastern Daylight Time. You're welcome to draw along with me and see what comes through. I just let the energies form patterns on the paper and I just respond to what I feel in my heart and see on the paper. So 
So before I start to blend a little more on the eyes, I'm going to grab a gray and just very lightly bring a shadow along the edge of the eye. giving a little bit of shadow on the eye. Closing it down just a bit and giving it that sense of depth. And that was kind of a medium gray. I'm going to do the same over here, similar. And it's okay if the colors blend a little bit there. Turning to another corner of the chalk to give a little cleaner gray so it doesn't pull the color of the eye out too much. You can always wipe the pastel off a little bit. It's good to have a cloth or something handy to wipe your hands off. It's very difficult to keep the paper clean. <laughs> it can make the difference between a very sharp image and a very loose kind of messy image. Even blowing it off, it can leave some streaks. So I'm going to go just a little bit darker, bringing in just a touch of black to deepen that sense of depth around the eye. And this will all be blended a little more. Just getting those initial colors down. And drawing at this angle is a little awkward because I can't get quite the right angle for that far farther eye. But it's coming along. Now a Q-tip is usually one of the best things to use uh, for blending. Even knocking a little bit of the excess chalk off, you can go in with a paintbrush and move the color around a little bit. So just feeling into this. Getting a nice sense with the eyes, feels very connected. And just giving that little bit of blend. <laughs> Trying to maintain as much of that white that I need to without smudging around it. Wiping my brush off a little bit. Coming in and just bringing that shadow created by that little bit of black and gray just around the edges, giving a little bit of texture to the that section of the eye just on the outer edge. So just leaning into it, leaving a little bit of this white as, as much as possible. And just letting that shadow around the eye just kind of take shape. Same over here, just kind of blending the colors a little bit, starting with the light section this time and kind of moving outward. 
blend in that shadow under the lid, under the eyelid. When I do my shading, I feel like I try to follow the contour that would be realistic on the face. As I pull it out, I kind of come out and over um, the eye also, following the contour of what would be natural in the eye. <sighs> so don't ever throw away old paint brushes. You can always trim them down and use them as blending stumps. Um, so that's handy for drawing with pencil or drawing with pastels. I'm gonna bring that down through here. Now, if I wanted to go back into this and create a white highlight I might need to do that with just a touch of paint, just a little bit. Once the chalk is, it feels like it's pretty well settled, um, I can put a fixative over it, a polyurethane finish over it, and apply just a tiny bit of paint once that polyurethane dries to create a little bit of a highlight. And I might do that. I would like to see a little bit of a highlight over that pupil, just a little. So just kind of feeling the energy as I'm working on it. Out here, I feel like there's a little bit of a shadow where that eye starts to contour back toward the face. There's a little bit of chalk on my hand, so I'm just going to kind of pull that blend in there. There's a little bit of a shadow that comes down on the face. And no comments yet, but that's okay. Um, just hope it's coming through and recording all right. Just pulling a little bit of a soft green up across and onto the ears. Just kind of letting the color hop and dance. I feel like I want to pull a little more of the light blue in here. Just trying to give that impression of the hints of color that are just radiating off of this beautiful dragon. And just letting the color kind of shimmer. Not sure how late Ray has programmed those, but she usually pops in for the live art. So I think she'll enjoy this one also. Just giving a little bit more shade to this area of the eyes. This is kind of a dark gray. And it's just helping me contour the shape of the face a little bit around those eye areas. They're not necessarily eyelashes. It's just the contour of the face. Just allowing for a little bit of shadow where the contour changes.
I don't want to go too heavy, just trying to pull in a little bit of shading. Every once in a while, you might need to blow some of that chalk off. I did an art picture over the weekend on Easter with my grandkids. I just did a couple little pieces, and they were doing some sunshines and rainbows, and I had a very enjoyable art session with my grandkids. Very enjoyable. So if you've got chalks at home and you got some little ones, take a moment to go outside and draw. Like I said, it's it's leaning into the energy of being present to one another. There's no right or wrong. There's no this or that, no pressure. And just let your creativity flow. And the more you create, the better it becomes, the more visually pleasing it might be. But again, truly, there are no rules. I think creativity is meant for everyone and meant to be enjoyed. The process of doing as well as viewing. So the eyes are definitely the focus here. I'm going to get another connection with my blue and go around the eyes a little bit. Get a little more detail here. I do feel a little bit of purple coming into the scales maybe around the eyes. So just kind of pulling these shapes in loosely, following what would be an expected um, contour next to the eyes. Giving a sense of scales, not necessarily drawing each one in, just giving some texture and pattern. thinking and feeling into what, how it needs to come across, how it needs to look, going by how my heart feels. The connections are a little tighter and closer together, the patterns where the eyelid is shut. And then they just feel to be opening up as it moves out across this outer part. Of the eye. And again, it's kind of awkward drawing at this angle, but just feeling into it and what seems to be playing forward for me. I'm going to grab the purple and just give hints of that little bit of color coming in. Because I get a sense of the dragon kind of shifting in the energy, moving, and a little bit of that purple just dances in the light and becomes apparent as it's moving. And again, we've got a white dragon here with the beautiful full spectrum of colors coming through. So with my pinky, I'm just going to go in and blend. So anybody visiting the replay, um, I'm sure happy to have your company. 
And well, it's not the replay yet, but just saying, when you do come back and visit the replay, your company is very much appreciated. I know schedules don't always work to be here when it's shared live. Um, I just want you to know that you're appreciated. And you're welcome to message me if you have an idea of something you'd like to see come forward in the live art. I would be happy to lean into that energy and see how it plays out. I am open to just about anything. We like to, I like to bring forward um, spirit-related um, pieces, but it's all connected with what divine wants to share and motivate. So I'm going to do something a little bold now. I'm going to finish blending up here around the ears. And to make this really pop, it would be fun to bring in a dark energy in the background. And that will really allow this to give a fuller connection to being our white dragon. And I think we're getting close on time. Let me check my time. Now we've got about 20 minutes. So we'll pull this together and finish up. Feeling into anything else that wants to come into play on the face before I go to the background. I do get a sense of kind of this pink color here, but it has a little warmth to it. There's a little bit of sunlight maybe coming on to the top of the head and just giving a little connection there to letting that sense of warmth come in. And just be part of that image. I will go over to that pink that I had earlier and let a little bit of that play in. Up across the ear. That's pretty bold. I might go back into that with a little bit of white just to soften it. That is a very bold pink. And on the picture coming through, it might even seem a little bit orange. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm grabbing my white as I say that. I'm going to soften that just a bit, blend it with the green up there. Remembering the white energy of our dragon. So I'm just wanting to soften that bolder pink and coral color. Yeah, pretty happy with where that is. I'll soften this a little bit. Just so it gives more of that connection of glistening and having a sense of iridescence. All right, and then to close here for today, I'm gonna go with an indigo blue and I'm feeling maybe a little bit of purple too. And I'm just gonna hop up here and block in some shifting transitional darks that will pop this dragon to the center of the attention. I'll go ahead and pull it across the top.
And you can see how that automatically begins to pop that to the front. It really brings the image of the dragon forward. I'm going to go with purple and just add a little texture and a little transition of color in the background. Trying not to overlap with the dragon too much on the edges. And I do feel that medium blue coming through. It's a dark blue, but it's a little bit brighter than that initial indigo. And I'm going to use this a little bit as a blender, like I do with the white on lighter areas. So this has a nice blending effect, and it also stays with that darker background. It's hard to get the right angle again over here. So you can see how that starts to really push the dragon forward. I'm going to go ahead and blend with my finger and just kind of go up to the edge of the dragon. And it's okay if you overlap a little bit. Because the dragon being in the foreground is going to catch a little bit of that blended color on its scales, on its body. So that's fine. It gives that transition of the dragon moving from the background to the foreground. Use my left hand, try and pull a little bit of blending in here. And just if you think about it, when you're outside, kind of watch how the colors from one object play on another. You'll see a little bit of the trees give a similar color up into the sky as they blend together at the horizon line. So I want this to pop a little more over here too. So I'm leaning into what to bring forward. I kind of like this. It was a smudge. <laughs> I bumped it with my finger. My finger was lighter than the background up there. So it kind of helps to bring that dragon forward to have something in that space. So just kind of leaning into that, bringing it up. He's kind of fading into the background behind him. So I do like how that came through. One of those happy accidents. So I'm feeling about the same over here. See how that plays in. Just taking some of the chalk off my hands onto the paper. And just because there's some of the body of the dragon that will come through here. But it won't be as defined as the face. The face is what the focus is. So I'm going to pull a little bit of chalk on my hands and just let my fingers do the communicating. <laughs> and it'll fade up into the ear there. I like the colors coming off my fingers in this lighter area. It just gives kind of a mix of all those that we've been using so far. I could use a little bit of purple, though. This section right through here and on this side feels to be a little closer. So I might pull with my eraser and bring a little bit of that back out. <sighs> so 
sometimes chalk and pencil erasers work all right together. Just anytime you're using an eraser with a different medium, just approach with caution. <laughs> sometimes it works and sometimes it does not. It might depend on the kind of eraser that you have too. Well, there you go. Pretty happy with that. Um, finding a lot of interesting connection with it. Um, putting a little bit of the dark in here too, giving it a little bit of contour where it curves in. It feels to curve in a little. And we've got a little more shadow on each side. So there you go. That's what's happening today with our live art session. And thank you for being a part of it today. And if you've come back for the replay, I hope you've had an enjoyable time with it. And come again. Um, visit with us once a month. It's the first Tuesday of the month. And you can draw with us or lean into what comes through for you on a personal level. You can just lean into watching the image develop and see how it plays out. So I will close for now and I will try and post an image on this recording of how the final piece turned out. I'm not sure if I will get back into it much more or not. I kind of like where it is. So many blessings and have a wonderful rest of your day.